Hi everyone, it's Chef Prue, and I'm so excited to share with you a new recipe that I just finished up, a really important one too. It's applying LTHS to the novel coronavirus. This recipe would be interesting to anyone currently working on any, trying to discover any form of treatment in any way, whether it's a vaccine or, or just something to treat the symptoms, anything like this. This would be really good for anyone in that because it presents a, a brand new view of things. It gives you a, a shining the light in a new area. Um, or just anyone interested in the coronavirus, learning a little bit more about it or about LTHS. Um, prerequisite for this, really important, it's all based on the LTHS reasoning motor. There's a good intro to that um, on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, and uh, there's a, another uh, workshop there for applying it into daily life. Both of those are very strongly recommended before uh, moving forward with this presentation. But before touching base on the application of LTHS to coronavirus. Let's just touch the most salient points. LTHS is a layering of CPU and software on top of our current physical understanding of ourselves and universe. So putting it visually, here we are today where everything is separate, the planet, the cosmos, the solar system, uh, uh, you and I, Everything's separate, a physical, very physical view. This is our current view today, uh, currently accepted science. Next, we're going to layer on <clears throat> the CPU and the story layers to this. Beginning with the unification, where we are all of this. We are all of this in stories and layers through the consciousness, the CPU, the, the consciousness CPU, the ability to see, feel, and respond to that story. What stories? Any stories, including self-consciousness. Hey, that's me in the mirror. A separate God self-consciousness. Oh my God, I am a human and there is a greater being out there. And a unified God self. The consciousness of this presentation and of our next renaissance that we're currently just begun, unified God self-consciousness. I am all this, observing myself as an organ follicle of this planet, of this cosmos, of this universe, which is expressing itself from consciousness into the physical world through layers. Layers beginning with hydrogen and all of its layers of manifestation from that point on as a star, as the star's elements, as the molecules that form, form from those elements, including water and DNA, including the human DNA uh, that is inside of me presenting to you this presentation, this recipe. Applying all that, that LTHS reasoning motor, we understand that we are actually the conscious beings <clears throat> within paradise story. We are paradise story beings, eternal and outside of our physical universe, using our hydrogen universe through the stars, which form the elements, which form the molecules, which form the chloroplasts in the cyanobacteria that take light from a planet formed by the elements of the star, which is all hydrogen, talking to itself to form this very moment, this very presentation of hydrogen discovering itself, communicating with itself in ever complexing layers of harmony. That, that is all observable through our current accepted scientific observations and through our most modern computer architectures. And we understand now that anything we see, we see it thanks to the light reflecting from an element, both of which were excreted 
by a hydrogen star. Our bodies are made of the amino acids, nucleic acids, fats, proteins, and sugars that derive from the ATP produced from the chloroplasts, which are eating the light, receiving the light, and recompiling it into molecular format for us to express ourselves, light. It's a new world. Well, next, we're going to apply that to the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the novel coronavirus. And I think most of us have seen some form of this picture by now on social media. And the most important focus being on the spike of the uh, virus, which is used to attach itself to our human ACE2 receptors, which are primarily in our um, respiratory tract. Um, but any, any part of this virus is critical to its um, ability to survive and thrive. So any interruption in any part of this would be uh, of interest to us, but in particular the, uh, the protein spikes. Next I'm going to add to this um, the genetic sequence of that protein spice, uh, spike um, directly from the f source, from the NCBI, the National Center for Biotechnical Information. And we can see that there. And I want to point out that that spike begins with the methionine uh, uh, amino acid. In fact, all proteins begin with that amino acid. And that amino acid is a CH3 containing molecule. That CH3 containing molecule is important. So let's let's keep that in mind as we now look at the DN, the RNA of that virus which begins with the AT nucleic acid pair. In fact, all DNA and RNA begin with that AT pair. And that AT pair is also a CH3 containing pair. So laying it out and applying LTHS to this, we can see we place ourselves in the virus within the bubble of paradise story, within the bubble of consciousness as equals, if you will, or as part of the same team. We're part of the same team. Transmitting through hydrogen stars, which convert in, in themselves into carbon, uh, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, forming themselves into a, a whole array of molecules, including the protein molecules and the, and the DNA, RNA molecules within both the virus and ourselves. We have established a common platform using LTHS. Now, we apply LTHS to it. Here's the recipe. We begin by reframing our perceptions using this new story, harmony story, paradise consciousness story, a story and a CPU layer to our physical universe. It's universal. It includes us and the virus and molecules and the stars and hydrogen equally. It's universal. Next, assume the virus is simply following orders from higher story, which is ever-expanding harmony story that's observable over the last 14 or so billion years. That's LTHS. And now, reframe. Instead of viewing the virus as a threat, let's just for a moment put on the lenses that it is a guide and we have been misdiagnosing it as a threat because of our own self-perspective rather than our higher perspective, universal perspective, which is who we truly are. Is anything good observably coming from this coronavirus? We need to be objective and cold like a doctor, like a lab tech uh, uh, repairing a, a piece of hardware. What good things are coming 
And we see it very regularly in the news, how the planet's really enjoying this, how nature is really enjoying this, how pollution is coming down, how all sorts of things. Yes, there are very bad things happening as well, but there are good things happening as well. And we consider the possibility that we may have misdiagnosed that as a side effect, when in actuality, perhaps, it is actually the payload. Now, I, I know this is a lot, a very big difference in the way we approach things, but, but it makes sense if you step back and take a look at it from a higher perspective. Ask ourselves, universally, anything in the universe, is there anything greater, any higher treasure than increasing our intelligence, our consciousness, our perspective, our view of things, our ability to access progress? Is there anything more valuable than that? Well, I can't. I have yet to come up with, a, with anything more valuable than that. Well, how better to naturally stimulate that very gift, higher learning, higher consciousness, than by hiding the solutions to threats and suffering in ever-increasing abstraction, including the abstraction of the story of paradise an actual physical CPU and software universe. Not only did this make sense, but this is actually our universal story motor for self-voting DNA consciousness through learning. That's how you can uh, form our entire current planet, living planet, from simple cyanobacteria in, 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 in about three and a half billion years. Finally, I leave you with this. With what we've just presented, how do we best apply this to our current situation? Well, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please feel free to connect directly to me, E-S-P-R-E-S-S-O-L-I-C-O -S 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 at gmail.com. Take care.